Assalamualaikum. Hello, Dajah Hao and Vanakam. We are from Group 9, which consists of me, Aida Zahira, Maisara, Marilyn and Amin. We will walk you through our team's event idea that can home UTM graduate attributes among students. So let's get right into it. The survey was conducted to gather enough information regarding graduate success attributes among UTM students. Based on the survey, we noticed a trend where most students would like to improve their enterprising skills, global citizen and leadership and team working skills, which accumulated at 78.2%, 75.5% and 83.6% respectively. Lack of exposure and practicing entrepreneurial skills does not promote learning, self-esteem development, or sense of purpose, which leads to poor enterprising skills. Next, the students lack confidence and trust in themselves or others to complete a collaborative task where they could have drawn on each other's unique strengths, which contributed to the lack of leadership and teamwork skills, while poor global citizens' attribute is due to inadequate practice to uphold fundamental universal values such as peace, sustainability, and everyone's human rights and dignity. Therefore, we came up with a transformational competition called SPDMSC Petro Industrialization, Unlocking the Potential of Waste, that catered explicitly to these issues. Amin will continue. Okay. The organizer of this event is the Society Petroleum of Engineers. UTMSC, which will be held offline on 23 December 2023 at L50 UTMJB. So, the background of this activity are focuses on the innovation of turning waste such as organic food waste or plastic into functional component applicable in the petroleum industry. Second, encourage participants to be creative in inventing new products that are low cost and more environmentally friendly. A team of four will be given six months of preparation for the product innovation. Lastly, to elaborately present the product to the judges on the day of the event. The goals and the objective of this event are firstly to encourage teamwork skill to achieve a shared vision and mission. Secondly, to advise participants thinking and designing a product considering its economic and sustainability value. Third, to enhance the enterprising skill of participants to attract buyer or investor. Finally, to nature participants and visitors on the importance of sustainability development in the industry. For the targeted participants, since the theme of innovation is regarding the oil and gas industry, we have specific target participants, which is undergraduate and postgraduate member of SPE UTMSC with participating teams in total. As for the VIP guests, we wish to invite SPE TMSC's advisor and School of Chemical and Energy Engineering Chairman to give short opening remarks and officiate the competition. There will, there will be three experienced judges assigned to evaluate each team's innovative creation according to the judging criteria. The judges are Ms. Chempaka Lim, the BDT Technical Sales Engineer, and Ms. Sarah Hanes, the Production Engineer from Storm VJ. Next will be T.S. Muhammad Fazi Harun, Senior Reservoir Engineer from Hibiscus Petroleum, and Mr. Harim Halim American, Senior Drilling Engineer from Enquest. Furthermore, we plan to conduct a talk about the growing demands for sustainable development in the oil and gas field that will be delivered by Mark Spiver, Director of Market Development at Honeywell UOP in Sustainable Technology Solutions in the Asia Pacific. Further tentative, this one-day event will be divided into two sessions, which are morning and evening sessions. The first session begins with the evaluations of presentations from each team from 10 a.m. until lunchtime at 12.30 p.m. Followed by the next session will be beginning from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. The second session will be consist of sharing a talk regarding SDG's goals in oil and gas officiation, winner announcement and closing ceremony of this event. For financial statement, we wish to get as many sponsors for this event. However, we target rough revenue of around 2,680 ringgit sponsors, where the 1,000 from several companies, 1,000 ringgit from UTM HEP, 500 from alumni contributor and petroleum or alucap, and 180 from the collection of participation fees from each 
group of S24 per pax. Meanwhile, we will expand Bentley on winners' prizes, appreciations, logistics, and refreshing. 450 ringgit, 300 ringgit, and 100 ringgit will be awarded to the champion, the first runner-up and the second runner-up, respectively. 175 and 500 for judges and speaker appreciation and accommodation, respectively. 370 ringgit for the venue, including all the booths and PS systems, and 565 ringgit to cover all food and beverages throughout the event. Thus, the total expansion will be approximately 2,460 ringgit. Next, I will pass to my Sarah. Right, thank you, Marilyn. Up next is our organizational committees. Here are the list for the organizational committee and their tasks. First, this event will be spearheaded by the director, followed by the event high committees, which consists of a vice director, a secretary, and a financial controller. Then there are several departments in this event to make sure that the event flows smoothly, which are the sponsorship department, program department, logistic department, technical, public relations, as well as the marketing department. Up next is the importance of the graduate attributes. Concerning of the weaknesses of these graduate attributes from the feedback and responses of undergraduates from the Google Form survey that we got, we figure out that coming up with a transformational competition able to implement this importance of chosen of the chosen graduate attributes, which are the enterprising skills, leadership, and team working skills, as well as global, global citizens. First, we have the enterprising skills, which will be providing the students with capability of recognizing opportunities and capitalizing on them by developing new ideas and improving procedures and outcomes. Also, realizing in organization mission in which leadership ensures that everyone is heading in the same direction and working towards the same goal and teamwork assists in reaching these goals by working effectively and dealing with conflicts using appropriate strategies. And up next, we have uh, to encourage participants to explore, develop and express their own values and opinions while playing an active role in their community to make the world a more peaceful, sustainable and equitable place. Up next, from the Google survey form, we also uh, accumulate the feedback and suggestions from the participant, which is uh, according to the survey, there are a few suggestions highlighted by the students that they requested to be done by the organizer in order to increase the value of the graduate attributes chosen. These suggestions, which are allowing the participants of outside PTM student chapter to participate, pattern the winner's product, as well as to further improvise the winner's product, which accumulated at 58.2%, 56.4%, as well as 47.3%, respectively. And to conclude, I will pass to Aida Zahira. Thank you. Thank you, my Sarah. The primary goal of this program is to improve three graduate characteristics, entrepreneurial skills, leadership and teamwork skills, and global citizenship. According to the survey, this program is a fantastic way to improve graduate attributes and attract participants. We must launch this program as soon as possible in order to change people's negative perceptions of the non-renewable energy industry. We hope that this event will be beneficial to all students that participated in. We are looking forward to conducting an event that implies the graduate success attributes within the undergraduates before they step out into the real working life situations. Thank you. That's all from us and stay safe. Bye.